Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today, I do appreciate you stopping by. Today's beer, we're going to do another one from Lagunitas. Uh, this is their Night Pills. And it's in a great big 22 ounce bomber here. Uh, the note they sent, uh, this was sent to me by Lagunitas. Uh, it says, hello, as the days are getting shorter and the nights longer, we brewed up a brand freaking new double imperial dark lager, as smooth as the winter night sky. Night Pills takes on everything we know about making a black IPA, which is why I have this glass here, and a Pills and marries it. The dark malt backbone brings notes of chocolate and dark fruits, while the lager yeast provides a crispy, clean finish. The result is a beer that looks like a stout but drinks like a lager. It's high-ish alcohol, yet easy sipping night pills that defies expectations. So, uh, I could have just as easy brought the Pilsner or lager glass in here, but since they're trying to marry those two styles from the Black IPA and the Pilsner, I'm going to tell you what I think of this, honestly, guys. If it has a nice hot presence, I just got this beer from them this past week. Uh, I'm going to tell you uh, what I think of it, and honestly, uh, if they're trying to take a black IPA, which should have a decent hop profile to it, and then using lager yeast instead of a uh, ale yeast, we still should have some decent hop presence on this beer. If it tastes like a black lager, I'm going to tell you that. Uh, so, the hop presence on this beer is going to determine whether I think it fits into the black uh, IPA style or a black lager style. So the different yeast, lager yeast is bottom fermenting, ale yeast is top fermenting and they ferment at different temperatures. Lager yeasts are fermented at a colder temperature than the ale yeast, like 50, 55 degrees, where the ale yeasts are like 70 degrees. So depending on what you're trying to ferment, brew, will determine your fermentation temperature. So uh, with that being said, uh, new beer from them because when i looked it up on beer advocate nobody is it's listed but nobody has made any comments or reviews on it yet so uh we'll jump over to untapped and they don't have any abuse or any comments uh for commercial description there are people that have had this beer but i don't think it's going to be many oh, yeah quite a few i mean more than five or, or ten or so so a lot more people are commenting on using Untap than they are the other sites nowadays. So, it's what it is. All right, this time, let's do this. Let's get this opened up enough to share. So, I intend to do that. A little bit of smoke, a little bit of hiss. And here we go. And as in yesterday's beer, I heard they changed their dating format. Uh, recently so I just got this bottle this week so hopefully it'll have the new format on we will look when I come back to do the final chug on this one uh, about a half a finger of head on that port and port super aggressive over into the light uh, a little bit of red ruby tangentials around the thin part of the glass down here it is a pretty dark beer so to the nose we go I'm not getting a hot presence guys A little bit of roasted malt. Maybe a little bit of molasses, not much. It's not got a lot of aroma at all. Well, let's see what it tastes like. Cheers, everybody. Ah. That is not working at all. 
very bitter. Wow, this is disappointing. That's not working at all for me, guys. Uh, that's not pleasant to drink at all. Mm, 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 mm. I'm glad this was sent to me because if I'd paid money for it, I'd been upset. This is not, this is not what I was hoping for in this beer at all. Tastes like it's got quite a bit of bittering hops in there, and then they just fermented it with lager yeast, and it's a bitter dark beer. Wow. Maybe it's going to change. We're going to let it warm up and uh, we'll see where it ends up, guys. I'll be right back. Uh, I don't know what else, what else to say. Uh, it's not working for me. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, looked at the bottle and it's got some kind of writing on it, but I can't even read it. I mean, it's unlegible at all. So, uh, as far as I'm concerned, their dating still sucks. You got to be able to read the code. I don't know what else to say, uh, Lagunitas. You got a lot of work to do as far as what your how, how and color of ink that you're dating your bottles with. And if I can put my hands on it and the ink comes off of the bottle, you, you got a problem with your ink. Uh, so I can't read any date at all on this bottle here, guys. And as far as what's in the bottle, yet uh, I would absolutely not buy this beer. Uh, it's not a cross between a black IPA. It is a black bitter lager. That's exactly what it is. Did not enjoy this whatsoever. Probably one of the worst beers that I have tasted from Lagunitas in a long time. Final choke. A bitter black lager. Hardly any hop aroma or presence at all. Super bitter. Uh, guys, is, is unfortunate and you, you might and, and like I said you may buy this and find it the tastiest thing you've ever put to your lips so don't base it on what I'm saying uh, this is a 22 ouncer so I know you can buy singles uh, pick it up and give it a try especially if you're a lager fan uh, but it doesn't have a whole lot of influence from a black IPA other than maybe the bitterness uh, so uh, I'm going to give this a B minus, uh, guys, here. Uh, it is uh, not a pleasant beer for this guy to drink. So, uh, on the number scale there, it's going to be a five. It's going to be a five. Disappointing. Very disappointing. Uh, over to uh, Beer Advocate. They don't have anybody's comments, so it's a zero out of five. And untapped has it at 3.68, which is their B. I'm not even going to the B. It's a B minus, and they're lucky they don't get a C on this one. This is a very unpleasant to drink, in my opinion. It just did not work at all. So, giving them the benefit of the doubt since it's Lagunitas, uh, I, I still think uh, a lot of these brewers go, you know, try different stuff. They go out of the box to try this and try that. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. This one didn't didn't work at all. So. We've had two back-to-back uh, -back here that I have not been super impressed with. Uh, so hopefully uh, we'll get back on track. So if you've had this one, Night Pills from Lagunitas, let me know what you think. Do we need it again? Let's go see what's in the fridge. Maybe we'll get a good one tomorrow.